Hi, this is James at C2. Welcome back to the latest tutorial. This tutorial covers the global CRM search, which is an expanded search function which is available in Dynamics 2015. In this video, we'll be covering a few topics, the first of which is the global search itself. In some documentation, you'll see this referred to as a multi-entity quick search or multi-entity quick find. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be referring to it as global search. Now it's available from all CRM screens, so users don't have to navigate to any particular part of the system to initiate the search, it's available on all of them. It's actually available in the taskbar, which we'll see later in the video. Essentially, what it does is it allows users to search across multiple entities. For example, going to contacts and searching there, which is still available, users can now enter a search string and it will search across a variety of entities. For example, you may search for the word Smith, that will return all contacts with the name Smith, all accounts with the name Smith is involved, all leads with Smith. So it's a very, very powerful tool. The results are presented per record type, so you'll see all the contacts together, then a list of all the accounts together. It's a quick and easy way to find information across the whole CRM system. It's important to note that results returned do respect the CRM security model. If a user does not have permissions to view a record, it will not be returned while they perform the global search. OK, so setting up global search. The system administrator should move to the settings area. So let's do that. We'll move to settings and it's under administration and system settings. Now under the general tab, if we scroll down slightly, you'll find the area for quick find here. Now there are two things to consider when you're setting up quick find. If you have a particularly large database, it can improve performance if you limit the number of quick find records returned. Now what that means is basically there's a limit of 10,000 records that a search can return. If you don't have a particularly large database, it's not required, but it's good practice to leave it as yes. What you then do is move on to select the entities you want to return in the search. So, if you click select there, you will see a list of all of the entities you have in your CRM system. And this is not limited to the standard entities. Any custom entities that you decide to add to your CRM can be included in the global search. We have set this up so we will return any accounts, any cases, any contacts, any leads, any opportunities, phone calls, social activity, price list or product. To remove an item from your search, so if we decide we don't need social activity, you highlight it and click remove. If you want to add one, so let's add articles, you highlight it and click add. More than one value can be selected at a time if you wish by using the control key. OK, remember to save and close. And this means now that when a user goes and searches or initiates a global search, it will search across all of these entities. Now, it's important to consider the fact that there is a maximum of 10 entities that can be added. OK, so that's us set it up. So let's go on and demonstrate it. OK, so that's our global search for users. Now, we're going to demonstrate the use of the global search. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there is no need to go to any particular screen to initiate a global search. It can be done from any screen because it's this area here. It doesn't matter which area we're in. If we're in a sales area, it's still up here. If we're in a contact record, it's still here. So we click in here. I'm going to perform quite a wide search. So I'm going to use wildcards. I'm going to search for the letter A. If you type that, click search, and you will see all records returned where the letter A is included. Now, obviously, in real terms, you wouldn't do such a wide search, but I'm using this to demonstrate the power. You will see it returns a list of accounts, a list of cases, a list of contacts, a list of leads, a list of opportunities, a list of phone calls, articles, products, price lists. Every entity that was specified by the system administrator when they were setting this up. Now, each record area provides vertical scrolling, so it will list six or seven, depending on your resolution, records per screen, but if you want to see more, scroll down. Also, the information that's displayed 
per record. For example, if we look at this case here, we have the case title, which is average order shipment time sample here. We have the case number and the priority. Now, the reason these three fields have been returned is that these are the three fields which appear, sorry, the first three columns in the quick find view for that record. So if you set up your quick find view, whatever the first three columns that appear, this is what's returned during the global search. Another handy thing to consider is the fact that if you have uploaded icons or images for your records, this will also be displayed on the re this returned results. For example, look at my record, James C2 here. It has a different icon from the rest of the records, and the reason for that is on the record, I have included an image rather than use the standard icon. We can demonstrate that by looking at the record. So I click on it to open. Here we go. And there is the image that's been uploaded. So any images that you've uploaded to your records will also be returned in the global search. Another handy feature that it covers is if you notice at the top of each entity, we have the quick create button. So if I've decided, well, I'm looking for all contacts which contain the letter A, and the one I'm looking for doesn't appear here, I don't have to then navigate away to sales or marketing and create a new contact that way. Click this button, it opens a quick create form. Here we go, and this allows us to do it. And you notice it enters the search string for us. It anticipates that might be what we're looking for. It's not, so I'm going to set up a record for Joe Soap. We don't need any more information for him at the minute. Let's enter that. We'll see that's confirmed that Joe Soap was created. So let's just run our search again and hopefully we will find Joe Soap. Here he is. And that shows you the power of the new global search facility. So that concludes our lesson for today. If there's anything else we can help with, please don't hesitate to get in touch. If you'd be interested in a trial, please just click on the link and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.